Hello everyone. I am Chanchal Rati, pursuing B.Sc. Nursing course from Impact Paramedical Health Institute from Jan 21. And today we will talk about the vital signs. What are the vital signs? They are the basic components help in assessment of psychological and physiological help of client, also known as cardinal signs. They are the often first signs that uh, there is any problem in a normal human body. The normal range for a person's vital signs may vary with age, weight, gender and overall health. Five major signs are temperature, blood pressure, pulse that is the heartbeat, respiration and obviously the pain is considered as sixth vital sign. Pain is denoted as six vital signs as six vital signs are normal response to pain in an increase in heart rate, breathing rate and blood pressure thus regarded as sixth vital signs. Now the next vital signs is the temperature, degree of heat maintained by body or the heat released blood, the heat absorbed is the temperature. So 98.6 degree Fahrenheit or 37 point 37 degrees Celsius is the normal temperature for a person. There are many sites for temperature checking that can be oral, temporal, or tympanic or rectal and obviously the axillary. But there is a slight difference. When we take temperature from oral or the temporal side, it is 1 degree low than the axillary side and when we take from the tympanic or rectal side, it is 1 degree high than the axillary side. If a 98.6 degree Fahrenheit is the temperature of a person it is considered as pyrexia or hypothermia condition and if it is 98.6 degrees lower then it is considered as hypothermia. Now let's move to next vital signs that is respiration. What is respiration? Mechanism of body gases exchange between atmosphere that is the in external respiration and the internal respiration that is within the blood. Respiration by the, mo the movement of chest upward while inhaling and downward by exhaling. How does we consider respiration? The normal respiration rate of a human normal human being is 60 breaths per minute. So to consider a respiration rate of a person for 30 seconds we have to count the inward and the upward movement of chest. For example for 16 breaths per minute the equations will be 8 into 2 thus equal to 16 breath per minute. Now next move to up next vital signs that is blood pressure. Blood pressure is the force on wall of blood vessels by bounded as it is pumped around body by ventricles. Contraction. We observe blood by the Karatokov sound that is the heart sound we, uh, we hear through the branchial artery with the help of stethoscope. There are two kinds of blood pressures that is systolic blood pressure and that is diastolic blood pressure. Pressure of blood at a contraction of ventricles is known as systolic blood pressure and the pressure of blood at contraction of ventricles when at rest is the diastolic blood pressure. There are also two conditions regarding the BP. The first condition is if at the due to angry or the anxiety the BP is above 100 then it is regarded as hypertension and if due to suffocation or any other illness reason the temp uh, the BP is less than 60 then it is considered as low BP or hypotension. Now next vital signs is the pulse the palping bounding of blood flow at various points. The, no the normal pulse rate of a human is 70 to 80 per minute. We check it through the wrist at radial artery with the three fingers stop listen and feel if the pulse rate is more than 100 then it is regarded as brachycardia condition and if the pulse rate is less than 60 then it is regarded as brachycardia condition now next vital signs is the spo2 that is the saturation of oxygen in the blood or the binding capacity of oxygen molecule with the rbc's the normal o2 percentage in a human body is 98 to 100 in a healthy adult now the reason why we take vital signs useful in detecting or monitoring medical problems and even to get clues to the possible diseases and show progress towards recovery. So thanks guy and now we all know what are the vital signs and what is the purpose for the vital signs. Thank you.